I think people assume that somebody who's a political member can make huge changes, and you know that that's not the case. Everything's done pretty much by consensus. Even decisions on which roads get rebuilt, you know, generally speaking, has got a chain of command, and half a dozen people have got to sign off and say, yes, this is a good idea, and yes, we've got the money for it or whatever. The department has got its own priorities and it's all very carefully thought through and there are all sorts of factors that go into prioritising one road over another. (laughs) Why are we spending an awful lot of time and money and effort on Victoria Street, for example? strikes me that there are far more worthy places around the island with big potholes or rotten road surfaces. I mean, just Woodburn Road, for example, if you ever drive up there towards the grandstand, it's like a patchwork quilt. <laughs> Even so, I think if I, if I was benevolent dictator for life, I would have said, forget that, you know, that's fine, it works. Might not be perfect, but it's good enough. Let's get on to the things that are really quite broken. (laughs) 